Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to add uh, bows from 3ds Max to Skyrim. Uh, please view the video description for uh, credits and tools you might need. Uh, I now have in front of me a ready to go model of a bow. Uh, this is not my final model. It's too big, not looking really good, not very symmetric, but I'm going to use it anyway to show you how it's done. Basically what I'm going to do is use a exported NIF file, which is the mesh file that's already been used inside Skyrim of the longbow. Uh, I use BSA extractor to extract the file and I'm gonna import it to 3ds Max 2010 using an NIF plugin. Gonna go to import. This is the wooden bow NIF. This is the file of I, that I choose because I like uh, how this bow is elastic. You may want to use another bow model. You can use whatever you want. You can also make the bones yourself using the PDF tutorial. Watch the description. Those are the options for importing. I also going to import the skeleton. I'm going to use this importer version 371. No more, no less. Unless you want to take any chances, choose import. You know how the bow, you see the bow on top of my bow. I see that these points merge nice, but those points are not. So I may want to change my bow. I may want to use, take those points of the bow and take them to here. But if I do this, I will also have to do extra work in NIFSCOPE and I'm not going to show you how to do it now. I'm going to use this as is. So basically what I'm going to do is delete, choose the mesh of the uh, longbow and delete it. I just want the bones. I'm going to choose my model, go to the model file list and choose key. Now I'm going to press under the bones menu add and control A, select everything, and press select to add these bones to my model. So you can press edit envelope and look how it's somehow guessed what are each of the bones place. You may want to change that. I'm not going to do it now. What I'm going to do is export it like it's ready to NIF. I'm gonna call it new bow. Use those settings this version, press export. That's it. Now I have a new bow file and an old bow file. What I'm gonna do is open if scoop. Use if scope version 110RC6. Gonna load the original wooden bow from Skyrim. Okay, I'm gonna open another window, file, new window, and I'm gonna choose my new bow. You see it's not really accurate, don't do it, work a little more. Uh, I'm gonna take from this place the bones and the shape, the mesh. I'm gonna take Nitri shape data ni skin instance this is what i'm going to take first of all i'm going to take this control c i copy go here and paste now i have ni3 shape data that i copied from here to the original longbow file i'm going to expand this and i want to change this one this mesh with my mesh so i'm gonna go to the main branch you see 16 is under 15 I'm going to search here for 16. I know this is 16. I don't want this. I want this. So I'm going to change 16 to 22. I'm going to delete this by pressing Control Delete. And I'm going to take now NI Skin Instance. Now it's not going to let me copy unless I delete this zero. Delete zero. Copy. Control C. Control V. Paste and I'll add this zero here and now I'm gonna change 16 with 22 
16 or 22 I'm gonna delete 16 I'm not going to change BS shader a uh, BS lighter shader property I'm not going to change that because it just doesn't export good now what I'm gonna do press file make sure auto synthesize before save is not on no V here save as my real new bow and there you go, this file is ready to be used in the CK.